Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see by today's title, I'm going to be doing my main manga haul. And I really don't have too much to say, let's just get right into it. I'm sorry if you do hear my fan in the background. That's because it is extremely hot today, it is in the 90s. And humid, so it's just... So, okay, that's enough of that. Let's get right into it. Starting with... I had a brain fart. Starting with... <coughs> Woo! Vertical Comics. I got Knights of Sidonia. Hold on. I don't know if that's a little better, but I got Knights of Sidonia by Sutomo Nini. Nini Nini. Sutomo Nihi. This is by Vertical Comics. I only got two volumes by that. That was volume one of Knights of Sidonia. And I got After the Rain by Jun Mayoziki. I hope this isn't too close. This is... I have no idea what this is about. I just know a lot of people talked about it. And I'm excited to start reading it. Next publisher I want to talk about is Square Enix. I got two volumes for that. And that is... First volume is By the Grace of the Gods. This is volume one by... Uh, story by Roy. Art by Ran Ran. Character design by Ran Ran. As you can see, feel free to pause to read. And the next volume I'm rather excited about. I had already Cherry Magic 30 Years of Virginity Can Make You a Wizard. I really like this because it's about um, Adachi. That's Adachi. He's a 30 year old virgin, never dating no one. And he's the popular hot co worker. And at 30 years old, he got a new power to read minds, and that's how he finds out that he has a massive fat crush on him. That's all I'm going to say. It's a really fun read. Next three volumes of manga I want to talk about, they're from like a miscellaneous publishers. I'm going to go with Otadama Voice from the Dead, Volume 1. This is a Doki Doki, Yokanira. That's what it says, see, Doki Doki. I don't know. I have no idea what this is about. I just like the idea of ghost stories. Let's see. Okay, there's nothing crazy about it. The next volume I want is by... It's called Double Trouble. This is a yaoi. This is 18 plus parental advisory. Just like with Cherry Magic, this parental advisory. This is by the June Yaoi Manga Collection. Uh, by Takashi Kanzakai... Kan Kanzaki. And I'm excited. It's always in a high school. I'm excited to start. I almost opened it. I can't open it. Not on camera. And the next work I got is literally called Works by Eriko Tadenu. And this is just a collection of Yuri one shot. See, Four Sexy Stories of Lesbian Life and Love by Japanese Yuri manga artist Eriko Tadenu. And I, I can't open this either at all. It has some explicit content. Okay, so I got two more publishers to be talking about, but right now I'm going to be talking about Viz Media, starting with Chainsaw Man Volume 10. We all know the hype around this. We all know about Tatsuki Fujimoto. He's also known for writing his work for Fire Punch, and he got a one-shot also on the Shonen Jump app. I think he got two one-shots. I'm not sure what they are, but I am excited to read them, and I'm also excited for Part 2 of Chainsaw Man to come out this summer towards like maybe August, late summer. The anime is supposed to come out either. I'm not sure if it did. Pretty sure it didn't yet, but I'm excited for part two and the anime. Next volume manga I'm gonna show is My Hero Academia Vigilantes volume 12. This is a complete series. The final volume just came out on May 26th at chapter 126. And let's see, what, what chapters does volume 12? It concludes 92 through 98. Which means there's probably going to be another two or three volumes. This might be a 15 volume series because it is complete now. The next three volumes of manga I want to show is Takanahana. This is, a lot of people know what Takanahana is. This is Shoujo Beat line on the Viz Media. It's about an arranged marriage between a high school and a 25 year old man. Even though the 25 year old man was supposed to marry the high schooler's sister. But nothing sexual or anything actually happens. It's just more like, they act more 
like an old married couple that don't do anything for each other. That was volume 13. Or maybe, I'm not sure. I don't want to give too much. And this is volume 17. This is complete at 18 volumes. There's also a limited edition cover for 18. Where instead of him carrying her on the cover, she's carrying him bridal style. The next two volumes of manga I want to show is Spy Family Volume 1. That's with Twilight, a.k.a. Lloyd. On the front, this is by Tatsuya Endo. Oh, and Takanahana is by Yuki Shiwasu. This is by... I already said it. And you already know what's up about Spy Family. There's seven volumes out. I finally got the first two. Finally crippled and bought it, even though I've been reading it on the Shonen Jump app. And that's Anya. Everyone knows who Anya is. She's basically like Fanon Airy from My Hero Academia. And that's Damien. Finally, the last volume I got to show for the Viz Media Publishers is The Demon Prince of Mochi House Volume 1. This is a complete series at 16 volumes. I currently own now Volume 1 and 6 through 16, even though I already read Volume 1 through 5 online. I'm slowly collecting the first five volumes so I can actually have a full, complete set. I saved the biggest publisher for last. In case none of you have ever noticed, I am Seven Seas biggest fan. I'm always buying from Seven Seas, even though they are going through a quarter debacle right now, a sort of the tea is hot moment because they refuse to recognize the union that their workers are trying to create, which is shame on them. First volume I want to show is My Senpai is Annoying. You might see some volumes that I already have covered. This is the colored manga. And you guys might see some volumes that I have shown in my Let's Talk Manga when I talk about CheapManga.com. I also wanted to say about CheapManga.com that, okay, next volume. First of all, let me just talk about the next volume. Hana and Hina After School. This is a complete series at three volumes. We already know this is Seven Seas. This is the section. And, oh, about Cheap Manga, they don't only sell manga itself. They sell light novels. They, sell, they have a yaoi section, yuri, but more yaoi than yuri. And they sell, like, Doctor Who stuff. This is Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Elma's Office Lady Diary, Volume 3. That's a spin-off. Next volume manga I want to show is Species Domain, Volume 6. This is a complete series. Oh, I didn't even say who they are by. My Senpai is Annoying is by... Hold up. Is by Shiramanta. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Elma's Office Lady is by Cool Kiyoshi Nia. And Hana Hina After School is by Milk Morinaga. I'm pretty sure these are all pen names. And this is by Shunsuke Noro. This is a complete series at 12 volumes. Next volume of manga, next four volumes of manga I want to show is actually called The Beast of Abigail. It's a four volume series. I don't know what it's about. It's by, it's by Speaker Aoki. I'm known for grabbing a lot of short volume series that I know nothing about. If it's three, two, four, even six volumes long and I don't know nothing about it, I'll take the risk and buying the whole series and praying that I like it. I usually do because I read the synopsis of it all. This is volume four. I just went through two and three. Okay, so the next volume of manga. Nope. The next three volumes of manga I want to show you is Alice and Zoroko volume... 3, 6, and 7. They're currently up to volume 9 and it's still an ongoing series. Now I got volumes 1 through 7. I could finally binge read it. This is, again, because I have read 1, 2, I have read 3 online, and I read 4. And that's where I stopped, but I don't remember anything, so I might have to reread it. This time I could binge read three. Vo I mean 7 volumes. This is volume 6. This is by Tetsuya Imai. Feel free to pause and read anything that you see here that you might like. Okay, so the next volume manga is an omnibus. And it's called Mayo Chicky, volumes, uh, volume 1 to 3, omnibus. One, this is a 7 volume series and there's two more omnibuses that come after this. And it includes 4 and 5 and 6 and 7. No idea what it's about, just saw it. So it was cheap, grabbed it and was like, mine, 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 mine. Okay, so the next volume manga I want to show is Spirit Circle, Volume 3. This is an out-of-print series. This is by Satoshi Mizukami. I currently got now 3 through 6. Now all I need is 1 and 2 to read it. 
Even if I don't like it too much, it's about reincarnation, and I do like reincarnation. Next two volumes of manga I'm going to show is called Bodacious Space Pirates, Abyss of Hyperspace, Volume 1 and 2. This is based off of the movie, so I believe that this is a duology that is complete. It's by Chibi Model. No idea what it's about, but I will be reading it for my June reading log that will eventually come out at the end of the month, at the end of June. When, not end of the month, end of June. Okay, so I'm almost done. We got two more series to talk about, and then I'll be concluding this video. Next four volumes I want to talk about is How to Train Your Devil. I've been holding off on this series. It's about a warrior girl or something like that. I think training a very perverted demon king or devil king something. All I know is that it's probably a lot of fan service, but something intriguing since it's only four volumes. This is by Tonchi Katioka. Quick run through. That was volume one. That's volume two. Just in case I see something scandalous. Volume three. Doesn't look like it's nothing scandalous in volume four. That's it for the four of them. Okay, so this last series I was really excited about. I got Jack the Ripper Hellblade volume one, two, and three. I don't think I'm ever going to get volume four and five because they are just too expensive for me. They want $100 each for those volumes, so I'll just stick to reading the scans online. Volume two, but it's by Jetai Yu. That's the back. Volume 3. And that's it. Okay, so I have finished this haul just in time because my tripod just broke. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!